Hello Gaudi class. For our next history lesson, we're going to look at another person who went into space. For this lesson, you're going to need a paper and a pencil, and you're going to need a partner that you can talk to. Now, if this is a grown up or someone else in your house, that's fantastic. But if not, then you can just use one of your toys. And I've got my teddy to be my partner for today. So in our last lesson, we looked at the first human to travel to space. Can you remember what his name was? That's right, Yuri Gagarin. I want you to think about, do you think there's ever been any females in space? And if so, yeah, why? If you think yes, why? Or if you think no, why not? So just talk to your partner for a minute and ask, tell them what you think. A hundred years ago, it was deemed inappropriate for women to work. That means society didn't think that that was the right thing to do. They were supposed to stay at home and look after the children and keep the house tidy and cook the meals. And people believed that only men should work and earn the money. Over time, attitudes changed. And to today, we're going to be learning about a female astronaut. And I think I told you this yesterday in the last lesson when we were learning about Yuri Gagarin, that if you travelled from Russia, if you were in the Russian space programme, then you were called a cosmonaut. I think you still are called a cosmonaut, I apologise. But if you travel from America, then you were an astronaut. So this is Valentina Tereshkova, and she was a cosmonaut because she flew from Russia. Underneath this video, there's a link to a YouTube clip about Valentina Tereshkova. And before you do your work today, you might want to watch that to give you some more information. So Valentina Tereshkova was born on the 6th of March, 1937. Her parents worked on a farm. Unfortunately, her father was killed during World War II. I'm going to move myself so that you can see the screen better. In 1953, Valentina left school. She was 16 years old and she went to work in a textile factory. That's where they make fabrics and materials. She became interested in parachute jumping after joining an air sports club. In 1962, Tereshkova volunteered for the Soviet space program. So that's the Russian space program. During the 1960s, cosmonauts had to parachute from their capsules seconds before they hit the ground on returning to Earth. So nowadays they have a whole capsule that lands and they try and land it on water. But in those days, in the 1960s, what they would have is they would have um, a capsule. And as they came into Earth's atmosphere, they would have to parachute out of it. So because she'd completed 126 parachute jumps with her club, she was accepted into the Russian space program. I'm still in your way. So when you travel to space, your body goes through a feeling of high pressure, like you're being totally squeezed. And this can make you fall asleep. So cosmonauts were only allowed to travel to space once they were able to stay awake whilst their body was being squashed, or it felt like it was being squashed. So Valentina had 18 months of training where she overcame that high pressure feeling and then she was sent on her first time uh, space mission. Here she looks like she's a bit of like a hamster in a, a wheel, doesn't she? But actually it would spin round and round and round to give you the feeling of being weightless. In 1963, Valentina was launched into space on the Vostok 6 and she was actually in charge of that, like she was piloting it. Can you remember what Yuri Gagarin's um, flight, first flight was? It was the Vostok 1. So this is five missions later. Tereshkova logged more than 70 hours in space. So Yuri Gagarin didn't even manage two. He, or, he orbited the Earth in just under two hours, didn't he? She went 48 times around the Earth. She orbited it 48 times. That was her only mission into space, that one, but it was a successful one. And after that, she never flew in space again. What she did, she became a test pilot. So she flew airplanes and um, rockets. No, she just flew airplanes to see if they would work. 
and she became an influ- Oh, I can't get my words out today. I'm sorry. She became a flight instructor in 1976. So she taught people how to fly. This is a very interesting picture. So this, on this picture, you've got Yuri Gagarin and Valentina Tereshkova together during a training. So they actually trained together. Right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some information about her, and you can use the video as well, to create an intergalactic passport for Valentina Tereshkova. So on the next page, I'm going to show you some what I want it to look like, or what it could look like, um, and then we'll look at the information. So the information is left for you when I finish. And I'm in your way again. Deary me, I haven't found a good spot today. So in the first box, you can draw a picture of her, or if you've got a printer at home, you could maybe print out the next screen and print a picture of her, stick a picture of her in there, or you could go onto the internet and you could just see if you can find a picture of Valentina Tereshkova to stick there. You're gonna write her name, her date of birth, which we told you, and you can scoot back through and see if you can find out. It was the 6th of March, and I think it was 1937. Shall we see how good my memory is today? Oh, there you go, 6th of March, 1937. Did that quite well. You'll be able to go back through the video for you to be able to look it up on the video. On It's on the next page, I could have gone for. Her date of birth, her place of birth, and what she's famous for. So she's famous for being the first woman to go into space. So her education, she was at school where she went, she was at school until she was 16. What she did before she became a cosmonaut, so she worked in a fabric factory. How many months did she have to train for? Can you turn to your partner? Can you remember that one? 18 months, well done. Her spacecraft, and that was the Vostok 6. All of this information is on the next sheet. And she went into space two years after um, Yuri Gagarin. So she went into space in 1963. And the duration of her mission, so duration means how long did her mission last for? So her mission, oh, can I remember that? It was some hours, wasn't it? wasn't two because that was Yuri Gagarin. I'm going to have to have a look. I can't remember that one. 70 hours. 70 hours. That's how long she was in space for. So wow, that's nearly three days in space. I hope she was allowed to sleep during that time and she didn't have to pilot the hot mission for the whole of those 70 hours. And any other interesting information that you come across. So that's what it could look like. That's what it would be nice if it did look like. So you've got that there. And on the next screen, I'm going to show you some information. So you might need to come back to this screen and that screen to help you with your work today. So there you have a picture of her to use, her name, her date of birth, so the 6th of March, 1937. She was born in Russia. She's famous for being the first female cosmonaut in space. She left school at 16 and worked in a textile factory. We had all this information. Um, and I think we went through all of this. So that's pretty cool. So your job now is to make a fact file about her, a in an intergalactic, no, can't get my words out today, an intergalactic space passport. So that's what it could look like to help you. That's the information you need. And there's the link to the video below. And I look forward to seeing your intergalactic space passports on Valentina Tereshkova on Tapestry. Thank you, Gaudi Class.